Hello and welcome to more Banjo Tooie! Let's finally hop down and go inside Crazy Castle. One of the best things probably in any video game ever. And why do I say that? It's because it's a gosh dang giant bouncy house. Although it's kind of deflated right now. We'll, we'll fix that in a minute. So I think for now let's just go up to the split up pads. And let's actually split up. So this is how this works. We just press B on top of these pads and our characters just... Well, they split up, so now we can control Banjo or Kazooie separately. So to switch between them, you just stand on your Switch or near a Swap Cloud, which they don't actually tell you what that is, but uh, I'll, I'll point it out when we get to it. So you just go to that, you press B, and you can uh, swap between them. Now the downside is, as Banjo by himself, we can basically do nothing. We can jump, we can kind of do like a little awkward backflip attempt there, but we can't roll, we can't uh, attack at all. However, if we go right up here, by the way, that is a Minjo that is supposed to look like it's a Jinjo when it does, but it tricks you, it's actually an enemy. Anyways, we interact with this. Now that we're separate, we can actually get unique moves just for uh, the separate characters. So for example, right here, we're gonna get a attack for Banjo, so I can only use this when I'm Banjo by himself. And we'll get stuff like that for Kazooie later as well, so it's pretty cool, you start getting uh, moves like that. So now we can do the Pack Whack, we can just swing it around like that. And the pack whack's pretty cool, you can do it on the ground, you can even do it in the air. But one thing that's really cool about it, if you jump, do the pack whack, you can jump again. So you basically have like a double jump. You can just do it real fast, and it, look, it seriously does look like a double jump, which is pretty cool. But we're actually gonna go back to our split up pad right here, press B to go back over to Kazooie. Now one thing you might have noticed, we have way less health when we're separate like this. Now Kazooie's pretty awesome, because she can actually still use her eggs, and we can even... Uh, let's see if we can go aim that. I can't seem to aim it for some reason. I guess you can't do the aim. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't use the aim on top of the bouncy castle, but... Well, took some damage there, but we got that broken open. Let's go and grab that... I think I have to jump on this barrel here. Get up there! Let's go grab that empty honeycomb piece and go inside. Because inside here is going to be a switch we need to press, and you can only press it as Kazooie by herself. Now, the sparklies we just touched, the sparklies around me, that is the swap cloud. So now if I press B, we'll actually swap over. I don't know why they call it a cloud. It's more of a sparkly thing, but... There you go. I'm just gonna double jump up into here. I'm not sure if the double jump was an intentional game mechanic or if that's actually a, a glitch, but either way, I like to use it. It's very easy to do and it's really fun, so. I, I feel like it's probably intentional. I don't know. Well, we go and hit the switch right here. Now, there is also a sign on top of the little area here, and that sign actually gives you information on how, on how you're supposed to get the Cactus of Strength Jiggy we got last time, where you have to hit that button three times, so it kind of tells you how to do that, but I won't. So here we just inflated the bouncy castle, all right. Let's go back over to Kazooie, let's get our team back together. And now we can actually go inside the bouncy castle. Oh, uh, or I can build your, get out of here you little scrub. Kind of, trying to, yeah. Try and hit him with a hammer, disgusting rude. All right, so we're gonna go through here, go inside. Now once we're inside, first off, this is going bouncy as heck. I love that they actually took the time to properly make this stuff bouncy. It's pretty awesome to have some kind of physics in an N64 game. It's really awesome, and I love it. Uh, but right here on the left is a door you can only go in if you're Kazooie by herself, and the one on the right you can only go in if you're both characters. So Banjo by himself, pretty much useless in this area. But let's go inside, because we have mini games. All right. This is the Balloon Burst Challenge. We have 60 seconds, which to score 50 points. Do I want to hear the rules? Nope, the rules are pretty straightforward, and I'll fill you guys in on that. One thing I do want to point out, though, is that you have to get 60 points on this to get an achievement. So do your best to get 60 points if you're on the Xbox version to get that achievement. Now, the way this works is we basically have infinite eggs. So just hold down that button and just shoot away. Uh, we have these balloons that are floating around. The red ones are worth one point. The green ones are worth uh, two, and the blues are worth three. So honestly, if you see blue, go for that first priority. Uh, reds are kind of the lowest priority, but they're also the most common. So usually I just kind of shoot whatever's in front of me. I'm doing alright. Wow, I'm getting a lot of points really fast. So the balloons just kind of go up, and wow, I guess the homing cheat looks like it's actually helping out here. It's really not hard. It's not a hard mini game even without the cheat, though. But anyways, the balloons, they go up, and once they get to the top, they start to shrink, and then they vanish. You can still shoot them while they're shrinking before they vanish, but obviously they're getting smaller. It's going to be harder to hit. Now, at this point, I've already gotten over 60 points. So there's no need for me to keep going. The achievement is not going to pop up because I already got it during my uh, practice file for this game, so... It's not going to actually show up. But wow, I got a gosh dang lot of points. I got, uh, she didn't say how many I got. I think I got like 70-something. 
But for that, we get a Jiggy. We just have to go outside, use the shock pad behind the castle and bounce up there. So she asked if you want to play again. Um, we got everything we needed here, so let's move on. I would say play again if you want to get the achievement, if you missed it. But otherwise, not a whole lot of reason to keep playing that one. So let's go back. Let's go split up to Kazooie herself. We'll come back in and do that second mini game. Hooray! Now, the awesome thing about Kazooie by herself is she's so gosh dang fast. She's basically like doing a talent trot all the time. And she can still do her little flippy flap thing there. But anyways, we go inside. We have the Hoop Hurry Game. Welcome to the Hoop Hurry Game Challenge thing. 60 seconds to score 30 points. I don't want to hear the rules. No, thank you. Once again, it's just going to be a game where there's three different colors with uh, three different sets of points. So let's go grab those turbo trainers. Reds are going to be the biggest rings and the most common rings with one point. Green are going to be slightly smaller, less common, two points. And once again, blue, the smallest, but three points. So if I see blue, I'll go for them. I think the green rings, honestly, are my favorite because they're the best... Uh, they're the best balance of ease of going through them and points. Uh, the blues can be a little bit more of a challenge to get through consistently. They're, they're not that bad, but they are quite tiny. And I haven't... Wow, okay, I haven't seen a lot of blues, but there we go. So you can see it's kind of small. You have to go straight on to get them. Now, these rings will start to fade away after a few seconds. But as you saw right there, you can still get them while they're fading. As long as you go in before they're totally gone, you can still get it just fine. So really nothing to worry about there. So I forgot how many points she said to get. I think it was 50, but I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. There is one glitch in here that I kind of wanted to show you guys, but it's really simple. I, I, I'll i show it if I get this. There we go. Okay, so I got up to 60. Basically in here, if you poop out some eggs and pick them back up, you can't really tell because I already have full eggs, but if you did not have full eggs, you could poop the eggs out, pick them back up, and it'll actually add to your egg counter. For some reason, your egg counter does not go down when you shoot in here, so any egg you pick back up just makes your eggs go up as well. The downside, you can only do that with blue eggs because you can't switch to different types of eggs here. And the other downside is that there's some egg pickup things outside, so you can just pick those up for eggs anyways. So it's kind of pointless, but it's a simple glitch, so I thought I'd just show that off real quick. Anyways, let's go back out. We're going to team back up with Banjo. Let's go use that shock pad. So we're just about done with the crazy castle section here. Uh, you know what? I'll kill this guy. I could use the HP. Never mind, I guess... I guess we're not going to get that. I do want some grenade eggs, though. Let's get that real quick. And got them. Uh, do I want these as well? Sure, why not? We're going to be using a lot of grenade eggs in this stage. Hey, there's some health I can get. All right. So let's go use that shock pad. And go get two jiggies. Not gosh dang one. Two jiggies. It's kind of like you go to the kickball tournament. You have to play three rounds just to get one jiggy. This one, you get two jiggies for just two rounds. Pretty awesome. And it's also kind of bouncy as well up here, which is pretty cool. But we are done with the crazy castle, guys. As much as I love it, and as much as I'd love to just stick around and start bouncing on everything, I think it's time we move on, because there is more awesome stuff to come today. It's not going to be just crazy castle. If we go back up here, we can go back up to where Humble Wumba is. I think it's fine. Uh, fine. I think it's time we finally... Oh my gosh. Kill the gosh dang Snapdragon. Okay, as I was saying, I think it's time we finally go and get the transformation for this stage. And it is an awesome one. Probably my favorite transformation in the entire game. Now, we don't actually have a Globo right now, but that's okay, because for some reason, the Globo is right there. I just, I like to imagine that Humble Wumba knows it's there, and she's just too lazy to get up and get it. So she'd rather perform magic on us than get up and move five feet. Or maybe her legs don't work. I don't know. In any case, we're going to give her that Globo, and it's time to transform! I think you guys are going to be excited. If you've never seen this transformation, you're going to think it's ridiculous. But we get transformed into a van. And not just any van, a gosh dang money van. Not a, not a minivan, just, just a money van. And with this, we can jump around, create earthquakes, we can gosh dang blare our horn at everything, because, you know, why not? So the way this kind of works is you can go up to these doors. If you honk, they open, which is awesome. I don't actually want to go down that door, though, because that'll just take us to the bottom. Instead, I want to go back to the world entry. Because I want to... Well, first, I want to run over this guy. Oh, yeah, get over here. Ugh! Yeah, you cannot take damage as a van. You can just wreck everyone by running into them. So we can't do that mumbo pad quite yet. But we can come over here, get us a Jinjo. That is actually all I wanted to do with this... Uh, the van for this section. So let's actually go back. I want to go back all the way to that warp pad. And now we're actually going to warp over to behind the big top tent because there's another section over here that I have not gone to before Ugh! get wrecked scrub uh, we can go over here to the inferno section and 
There's a little thing right here that says pay here. So the way that our money van works, if we go up to a pay here thing, well, we can uh, just drop some money into it. And that'll open things up for us, which is awesome. The ride is now open. Hooray. Yes, the Inferno. That's a ride. It has crazy clamping doorways that'll probably crush you and wreck all of your bones. Oh, uh, and inside we probably have some kind of fire and lava. But you know what? It seems totally friendly. Just let us in. Of course, as a van, we can't take any damage. So, I mean, we can just go inside the lava. It does not even matter. Sure, this stuff will kick our butts if we go in as Banjo and Kazooie, but no, nah, not as a fan. Ugh! Let's just honk this open, get ourselves a Cheeto page. Let's go right through the lava because there's a Globo over here as well. And also, Mumbo is inside this area. So let's go and uh, at least activate the warp pad next to him. We can't actually do anything with Mumbo uh, as a fan, but his place is looking gosh dang menacing. Look at that crud. Jeez. Well, let's activate that warp pad. And I'm actually going to go back and regain control of Banjo and Kazooie. Now, it's kind of unfortunate, but you can't actually... Or, how to word this? Basically, you need to hit a switch with Mumbo uh, to do something with the van. Basically, you have to unlock a place with Mumbo, then go back as the van. The problem is you have to use the van to unlock Mumbo in the first place. So basically, you have to like go to the van, go back to Mumbo, then go back to the van again. Which I guess I shouldn't complain about because it gives me a an excuse to go back to the van a second time, which is awesome. But yeah, it's kind of unfortunate level design that they make you go back and forth like that. But before we go back into the Inferno as Banjo and Kazooie, I actually want to go over to these little side areas. So let's do that. Let's go down to the purple area here. There's two little side areas to check out. There's also that dive of death thing you might have saw, but we'll get to that in a bit. So I guess we're going to walk down Snake Way right here, which is actually very appropriate considering they just announced a new Dragon Ball anime today. Which is actually really exciting, so hopefully that turns out being good. I actually will probably go back and binge watch Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. And I've had way too many Dragon Ball Z references in this, uh, anime. Not this anime. <laughs> this Let's Play. Yeah, so I'm running an anime here, guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying this anime that I've been, uh, creating for you. But let's go inside the Cave of Horrors, or... Yes, Cave of Horrors. Here we have the... Oh, man, it's the Ancient Bearded Camel! So if we poop an egg onto that lock... Oh! Hey guys, I am, am I glad to see familiar faces? Gobi, what are you doing in there? Yes, this is Gobi, the guy from uh, Banjo-Kazooie, the camel. Which, in the last game, he kind of made reference to Banjo-Tooie because he was going off to a fireland. I think he got halfway there and kind of got stuck in a cage here. Not sure why he's green, but let's go ahead and poop an egg on that. Now watch this, guys. Watch his fur color. So right here, he's green. He goes out. And suddenly, he's not green, so I don't know if there's like some magical green properties inside that cage. You know what? Actually, let's go inside the cage ourselves and see if we turn green. Uh, we kind of turn more of a blue color. I don't, I don't know why he was green. It's more blue in there. But anyways, there's also a dinosaur here we want to save. I came on the train to visit the theme park, but those filthy rats chucked me in this cage and now I'm an exhibit, I think she said. I kind of went by that a little bit quickly. Uh, wow, Banjo, that's just rude. Jeez, you can't just say things like that. Yep, so we're going to go ahead and blast this door open. Just poop on it. Now, if you shoot it without the poopy ability, if you just shoot it straight on, you're probably not going to hit it. It'll go a little bit too low. I could try it right here. Uh, yep, just like that. It goes right under it, so it's better to just poop it. Ow! And here we just get a Jinjo. So the dinosaur does not want to move until we activate the train. So I guess we're going to exit here and go activate the train. So the first thing I want to do is go to the right. There's actually a second path down Snake Way here, and... We can, get a, we can get a Cheeto page, so let's do it. Do I want to restore my eggs? Yeah, I do. Let's do it. So we'll just grip grab onto this section right here. Let's go right along. There should not be any Snapdragons or any real obstacles here. We just kind of have to go for it. So let's grab that, and we can jump back down. Oh, don't miss that crud. I almost jumped down without getting it. That would have sucked. Okay, so we're back out of here. Let's go to the other side now. So this is the purple path. Actually, you know what? Let's do the dive of death, because it's kind of right in the middle. So there's a green path on the left there, but we'll get to that. Let's let's do this dive real quick. Going to climb all the way up here. And you know, I think that the dive of death or whatnot, I think that's actually like a real thing at certain circuses or whatever, but I'm not sure, like, do they actually legitimately do that crud or do they fake it somehow? I don't know. I mean, they dive like, gosh dang, 20 stories into like a tiny kiddie pool of water, so there's got to be some trick to it. Oh my gosh, let's actually go into the water here. Avoid taking some damage. 
Well, we can go down here and get 10 notes, so let's do that, I guess. Oh, okay. So that's pretty much all there is to do with the dive of death area. Let's get back out of here. Let's go to the green spot! Because that is going to be where we activate that train for Little Miss Dinosaur, or whatever the name was. I'm not the best with remembering dinosaur names. I mean, thinking back to Land Before Time, I can only remember Ducky and... Sarah, I think? I think Sarah was one of their names. But I just want to go flip up on top of the little casket? Coffin? Is it, what, the, what the heck's a casket? I think it's a coffin. Anyways, let's kill a bunch of snapdragons. There's going to be a whole lot of them right here. We zoom out, we can see that one as well. So we got a third one to deal with. Wow, I actually got the health. I don't think I needed it, but I'm usually pretty terrible at picking up the health after I hit those snapdragons. But right up here, for some reason, no idea why it's here, there is a train button. So let's go ahead and hit that. That'll open up the doors. And that'll connect us back to Glitter Gulch Mine where Chuffy's train is, which is pretty cool. However, hitting the button is not enough. That just opened the doors. To get Chuffy to actually come here... Get out of here, you little scrub! Uh, to get Chuffy to actually come here, we gotta go hit the, the sign. This is like a telepathic sign. Us ent interacting with the sign can allow him to hear us from all the way over here, somehow. I mean, it just looks like a hunk of wood, but I, I don't know how it works. It just does. So let's wait for him to come here. Come on, Chuffy. Would you hurry up, dude? We got things to do, man. We got mumbles to get, mumble switches to activate. We want to hear that Ecom Pokem song that we've heard way too much already. All right, so Chuffy's here. And of course, somehow, all the way over on that other side, Little Miss Dinosaur is just like chilling. And she can totally hear the train. Oh, I think I heard the train arrive. I mean, I'm not saying trains are quiet by any means, but how the heck? You're in like a stone cage. And why is it that she wants to stay captive in a stone cage until she hears a train? Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. Now, inside the little dinosaur area, you might have saw there was a little polar bear kid. That is part of the Miss Boggy Jiggy at the start of the stage that we can't actually do right now. We have to come back once we get an ability from a later stage, so that's why I didn't interact with him. But I think it's time we actually go inside the Inferno. Let's do it. So there is one Jiggy we can get inside here as Banjo and Kazooie, and we have to interact with these split-up pads to do so. So let's go ahead and split up. What we want to do is have Banjo go over and hit a switch over here. And then we'll have Kazooie come back and use the Turbo Trainers. So I'm just going to make great use of that double jump. We'll have him go here. You can see there's a split up cloud so we can... Or a swap cloud, whatever it's called. So that is going to activate a shock pad way at the top right there. Now there's a bunch of fire dudes kind of like skiing down the side. So we're going to have to try to avoid them. We've only got three points of health right now. And they can be a little bit difficult to avoid. But I'm going to do my best here. It's just, oh boy, okay, we're, we're doing all right. I found I find that sometimes if you just jump straight, sometimes they will still hit you. Not always, it's kind of inconsistent, but hey, it's working out pretty well this time, I guess. Yep, not that time, okay. Uh, just run as fast as you can, Kazooie! Okay, we can still take two more hits, and you know what? We made it, still two health left on the clock, or health bar, whatever that is. Let's go, over, go ahead and grab the Jiggy, and you know what, guys? We're going to Sudoku. Let's just jump down into the lava. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, for doing that, we're actually going to get back to full health and connect it back with Banjo, so it's actually pretty convenient. I don't know why hurting yourself is the most convenient option, but it kind of is. Anyways, we're going to go over and actually activate Mumbo finally, because there are some Mumbo switches around the stage that we want to interact with. We can also get a gosh dang honeycomb, which is awesome. Honeybee required five more honeycombs to get some more health, and we have five now, so we might go back at some point. Uh... Honestly, we'll probably get that between uh, this stage and the next one. Or after we finish this stage, but before we start the next one. Let's just give Mumbo that globo. Come on, Mumbo. We've gone through this routine so many times. You know, a good question I should probably ask. Is this Mumbo the same Mumbo as in the other stages? Or are there just like a bunch of different Mumbos that all look the same? I mean, I really don't know. I never, I never really thought about that. <laughs> I don't know. But let's go ahead, go back to that warp pad. Now that we've got warp pads activated all over the stage, we can go and activate all them mumbo pads. The first one, of course, is way back here next to the sign that I pointed out way too many times about danger, jiggy Watson, and all that crud. Let's just kill this little butthead. Come here, buddy. Oh, yeah. Let's go and activate that mumbo switch. Are you guys ready to hear Ikum Pokum for way too long again? This is going to power the Saucer of Peril. That is... 
basically another mini game, but we'll get to that next time. This episode's running a bit long already, so I think we're just going to activate some mumbo pads and call it. We will finish the stage next time, though. We're definitely getting near the end of it. We do have a few more uh, mini games to go through. We got a boss fight coming up next time as well, so lots of cool stuff to come. But for now, we're just going to hit the mumbo pads. Yes, we get it. You, you've already told us you've activated the saucer apparel. We'll get to that. I would say the saucer apparel is probably my favorite minigame in this stage, actually. It's really fun. Now, there's a version of uh, the saucer apparel in Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. That crud is gosh dang hard as balls. But we'll get to that someday. Just, just you wait. Let's just uh, completely dodge this guy. Yeah, dodge him! And we're going to go over to... The Space Zone! This is actually the area where we just activated the Saucer of Peril, but there's also a couple of mumbo pads over here we want to deal with. Let's just zap that guy. Let's hit that switch! There's the first one. Hope this works. It just worked last time, I don't see why this one would not work. I mean, how in the world does his magic have electrical powers? Like, is he just suddenly an electrician? I, I guess, okay, he summons electricity, that, or summons lightning. I guess that makes sense, but... I feel like just hooking up some wires, maybe flipping a light switch, probably would have been a bit more convenient. Now, notice whenever we do this magic crud, Globos fly out of his bag. We only gave him one Globo, and he's using like three of them for us, so... That's that's how generous Mumbo is. He only asks for a little bit, only asks for one. Let's go inside the Star Spinner attraction here. The thing we just opened back there, yet another mini game. we'll get to that next time. But right over here, let's go vandalize things! Because we can. If we just go up to this little switch right here, hit it with our staff, we can vandalize it. And <laughs> Grunt will get mad at us. Oh, you vandal... Oh, you will have to pay for any damage. I ain't gonna pay for crud, yo. Let's just, uh... There we go. You know what? My reward to you, Grunty, or my, my concession is that if I break your crud, I'm not going to pay for it. However, it might compel me to not pick up a lawsuit against you for all this uh, bodily harm that your place has caused me. That's, that's what we're gonna do. I'm surprised that hitting that little thing with my staff causes so much damage, but a giant lightning strike doesn't do crud. But for that, we activate a little spinny thing up there. I guess that none of this would have worked without activating it. I'm not sure how those are powered, considering they're not connected to anything. I guess there's just some fancy electrical field taking place in here. But you know what, guys? We have just activated all kinds of stuff. We'll, 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 we will come back next time, enter all the places we just activated, do a boss fight and finish off this stage. So I will see you guys then. Take care.